Today I will be addressing everything that I've seen about me on Twitter recently. I went on tour and a lot of things happened, a lot of which I don't condone. Let's talk about that. Also subscribe. I want more than 400,000 subscribers. I know I hit it already. I want 500,000. I've asked my mods to collect a list of images to explain from the gigs. Some of these are bad. Some of them are good. The important thing is chat, we're going to be going through them all together. I'm five foot seven and was at a barrier for the gig today and I'm aware people struggle to see from behind me for which I apologize. There, you're five foot seven. In, in what world do you think five foot sevens being like, is, is a crime? If so, they should lock Jago up for years. You're all so f short. Everyone always comes up to me and like, James, you're so tall. No, no, I'm just a height above five foot seven. If I was at one of my own gigs, you'd hate me. You'd just hate me. Anyone who admits they're below five foot four from this point on, you're getting banned. There, I said it. I said it. I want to raise a tall community. Sorry, Millie. I'm <laughs> Uh, man, actually, unless you're a mod, unless you're a mod, mods are allowed to be short. You know what? That one's just average. We're going to put that one. We're going to put that one right and see. This one, I'm not going to put this on the tier list, right? I'm not going to put this on the tier list. A lot of people didn't want me to mention this today. I'm mentioning it, but I'm not going to use the image of it because I don't want a picture of this cat out there. Yeah, I'm addressing the cat. People are worried that if I address the cat, that more people are going to be bringing cats to gigs. No, I think if we address the cat, if someone brings a cat to a gig again, you can alert me so the cat doesn't get in because I I can't do anything if a cat just is in front of me. If I'm playing a show and I'm like, that's a cat, I can't do anything. If you message me, there is a cat in this queue, I can talk to the venue. At London 2, a bunch of people kept screaming during songs, talks for James to wear cat ears. I, I kind of get it. Like, I, I do kind of allow this discourse to happen because I do just be barking on stream. I, I get it. What I don't <laughs> really get is this, the, the Lizzie stuff. This is not a fun incident to happen at a gig. And I'll tell you why. Because because it happened to the supports. I understand if you come to one of my gigs and you start telling me to bark. Fine. Oof! You know, like, oof, 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 right? Don't make the support acts bark. Poor fucking Lizzie Esau, who turned up to this gig, was like, wow, what a crowd. 600 people there, dancing, jumping, and telling me to bark. Motherfucker, I'm doing festivals this year. If you go to live at Leeds, right, and watch me perform, and then you're like, I might go watch Two Door Cinema Club. Hey, you fuckers, can you meow? Don't do that. Don't don't fucking do that. I allow it for me. Don't do it to supports or people that play the same shows as me. People get mad at me for jumping about in Manchester because I wanted to dance at a gig. Hey man, no one jumped more on the tour than Manchester. And that and that's annoying because the first three songs of that show were fucking mid. It's such a shame. I don't think any of you could tell what was happening. That is quite funny. Guys, I implore you to jump at my gigs. I love mosh pits. And people are saying my mosh pits are actually really fun. Let me talk to you about this. Okay, this is Gorilla. This is the gig I played in Manchester. Now, what you may notice here is it's kind of like a tunnel. It has this kind of cylindrical thing going on here. It is a tunnel. There is a train track that runs here above the venue. But you'll see the guitar I was playing is not one of mine. A lot of people said this. Why isn't James playing his lovely green Stratocaster? Because I went to the venue and did my sound check at 6 p.m. Hello, Otto. And they told me there's a train track above here. You can't use single coil instruments. Four of the six guitars we brought on tour are single coil Stratocasters. We turned up and they said, you can't use those. We couldn't use four of our, there are three of us who need to play guitar. And this was at 6 p.m. when we plugged in the fucking track because it was like, you can't use those otherwise it will sound like shit. Fantastic. Cheers guys, cheers. So we had to go out and hire instruments to play live. So the fact that that show wasn't a fucking disaster is hilarious to me. It went really hard. They asked us to do an encore. We played every song I had and they went another. So we played Grapes again, which is great. Otto's on a box. He probably should not be on that box. I'm, I'm gonna go and sort this out. Sorry, guys. Ow, 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 fucking you fucker, you fucker. Okay, all right, is this what we're doing? Really, right now, on stream, is this what we're doing? I'm not a stand, I'm a human being. James is a flat ass, ban them. So there you go, that's going in F. And I've just found out the Lovejoy venue is next door, so I'm gonna make sure I bring a lot of fucking guitars. Oh my God. <sighs> If you come to one of my shows and be dry humping to slow down, what is going on? We found out about this after Bristol. Motherfuckers were in the back. They were saying like this older couple were just dry humping in the back, right? And my friends were there and they were a couple and they just come backstage and they were like, that was great. I was like, were you fucking dry humping at my show? And it wasn't them. Multiple gig- What other gig did it happen at? London. No, they weren't at that show. Oh my God. If they were at that show as well, that would have been curtains for me. Guys, I get it. When I listen to slow down, I also feel incredibly sexual. Save it for home. It's going in E. I'm gonna- I'm gonna-
My guy, Otto, can you not just fuck up my entire room for one waking moment? If you find out where musicians are staying, don't be weird, just move on. How did you find out? So many of you found out where I was staying and waited outside the hotels. Don't be doing that shit. But how? How do you find out where I am? I don't get it. How did you, Jago, what did Jago do? Jago posted the hotel for London. Jago, you fuck. Why are you doing this to me? Jago fucking doxing me, dude. I know, I know you want to meet me. <laughs> Joking. If you want to meet me, that's not the way to do it. After every show, I took a photo of at least like 10 to 20 people. Even though I said I wasn't going to do it. I was like, I will if I see people and they ask for a photo, I'm going to do it. I even did it with some people at the hotel. But it's like, guys, come on. Don't put me in that kind of situation. A good one. Here is the average Glaswegian James Marriott supporter, right? You lot are loud. I arguably had one of the best experiences of my life in Glasgow. Before I came on stage in Glasgow, I just heard this chant from outside, right? I was outside the venue about to come in and i hear this here we here we here we fucking go i was like oh god here we fuck am i about to be killed am i about to be murdered by 300 scottish fuckers no they were the best crowd arguably the best crowd individually there are some brilliant people that come to my shows that start mosh pits that like are right at the front that fucking sing all the way at the back love that i could not have picked out a single person in glasgow that did not want to really fucking be there it was like every single person there gave a shit knew every word and was just like fucking into it we even said as a band afterwards when we play scotland again we will probably play a bigger venue in like edinburgh and then play king tuts again in, in glasgow that's how special that show was for us and what i wanted to say was about loudness the sound engineer for glasgow's king tuts which is one of the most famous venues in the united kingdom you can look it up he said he has been working at king tuts for eight years he has not heard a single audience that was was louder than us. You were louder than any crowd that has been at King Tut's over the last eight years. And every venue said that. They were like, we've not seen a crowd like that and da da da. When I get compliments after the gigs, it's not usually like, oh, nice vocals, James. It's, wow, that audience were fucking into it. Yeah, they were. So you're doing so much, so much. Now, yes, I hit the gritty. This is the thing. Yes, I did gritty on the stage. And can I just say, <laughs> Kill him. Shee. Can I just say, shee? Yes, I hit the gritty on stage. Do I regret it? Yes. I, I I think the sound engineers looked at me in a different way after I did it. But still, funny moment. They went, really? This guy has sold out Sheffield? Jack Manifold, the choir boy image. Why are you posted up in my mosh pit like this, Jack Manifold? We need to address this. I think you're in a mosh pit. You've got to have the arms ready, right? Why is he? Look what you started by ignoring all the signs. <laughs> you never changed. Still obsessed with losing time. There it goes. There it goes, there it goes. Like, I don't want anyone getting hurt in my mosh pits, but that's a little too polite. I did enjoy this image a lot when I saw it. It's going in S, Jack Manifold. But what is Jack Manifold pissgate? Jack threatening to piss on people if they didn't let him out of the crowd at the comedian gig. Valid as hell, let him out of the crowd. That's a good escape tactic, Jack. I'm gonna put that in A. Jack Manifold has, has had some great James Barrett appearances. I love that I have a bunch of friends that turn up to my gigs. It makes me really happy when someone wants to turn up. Ash turned up to the, the first London show, had a great time, and he's like, oh, I probably won't come tomorrow. And I was like, bro. That's fine. You came to one. I don't expect you to travel up to London, back to Brighton, then back up to London again. Lovely that you came to this. He came to the second one too. I have friends. Yes, you fucker. I have friends. Now, there are supposedly six instances with, with Wisp. So we're going to go through these one by one. Wisp walked up behind me and started shouting right in my ear. Yep, that's good. B. Kit Wisp instant two, a minor redemption. Colors Hoxton show. When in the pit, his shoulder whacked my jaw, causing me to bite my tongue. I forgave him though, because I think I was jumping on his toes a lot before that. Also, when someone fainted, he handed me his phone with a torch on so he could help. Nice. This is a good Kit Wisp moment. Also, I would love it if someone were to stamp on my toes. Uh, sorry. I don't know how he has six incidents. He strangled me. <laughs> People out here fucking getting getting choked at a James Marriott gig. Not like that. I wish I could get you. Let's move on. I, I think that's fine. We can move on. Video proof. Next time I'll clart you in the... He never said this. My friend never said this. You're, you're misreading it. Uh, they, this is not a real tweet. Um, my friend would never clart a fan in the face. He would never do it. He broke my finger. What's happening, man? What's happening? You're, 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 you've, you've made someone bite their tongue, choked someone, and now broken someone's finger. What are they putting in this man's shoes? He just loves my gigs. He's just jumping around. This is what happens. It can happen in mosh pits. You know what I mean? If you're just jumping around. Uh, but that is funny as fuck. How is this happening at James Barrett gigs? You know what I mean? Been shoved and elbowed with bruises shown the next 
next day I have multiple different friends getting shot in the face. I'm counting being deafened by him yelling, have my children as an instant. Love that guy. He makes those gigs great. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to put this out there. There is not a single person I want more at my gigs than Kit Wisp. Manchester goers, apparently people have been finding lice in their hair following James Barrett's Manchester gig. Every time I read this, my hair gets itchy because I'm worried that I'm going to have fucking lice. What fucking seven-year-old brought lice to my show, dude? What seven-year-old? Lice still exist? Who gets lice? I understand other things happening at shows. Who gets lice? Who get, Who comes to a show with lice? Has anyone had lice in the last 15? Why is my... It was the cat. That's a red card. Ban them. Ban them. I'm giving this an eat. We're moving on. I don't have lice. They would have no hair to fucking infest. People nibbling each other's ears next to me. My guy, you're at a James Marriott gig. Stop nibbling ears. I know they're tasty. <laughs> My cat's having a shit right now, if you're wondering what that noise is. Your glasses look like a filter. Your mum looks shit. I understand it, right? Ears are tasty. Num, num, num. Very sexy, right? But stop doing it at my fucking gigs. Unplugged stuff. Oh my fucking God. This shit pissed me off so much. F. We start the gig, right? Well, no, we don't even do that. We start the tour. We're in Bristol. The Thecla. It's a fucking boat. Cool. We set up all of our shit for our sound check. We're like, this is sick. We leave it there and we go backstage for the supports to set up their shit. So the supports have done theirs. Hannah Gray. Fucking great show. We come on stage to do the show. Nothing is plugged in. Nothing. None of our amps. Nothing is plugged in. None of the mics. Nothing. And there's no labels. So we just didn't know what plugged in where for the sound check. And I was told this backstage before our first show of the tour. Oh, by the way, um, you're not actually actually set up and the sound check meant nothing. <laughs> Have fun. It would be like starting my stream and it just being like, Yes, I know I'm muted, you dickhead. That was the joke. It was the joke. 